Hello everybody, welcome back to Ray's World. It is time to tackle some nickels. Let's jump right in and see if we can find anything in this first roll. I did have one roll that had an ender. It was a Canadian enter, ender. I think it was a 1993, I can't quite remember. But I set that aside, we now have three rolls. And so once we have a full box of nickel enders, just like the pennies, we will go through them. Hey look, Owen, a red nickel. Wait, a red nickel? A red nickel. The last couple of boxes of nickels have been good, so I expect that we will continue. I hope that we continue the good luck streak. Hopefully you saw the last video where we etched a couple of buffalo nickels and we were unable to get some dates off of them. Maybe we'll find a full date. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, there's a 1946. 1946, what do we got here? A 1939 Philadelphia, let's check. Let's see, come on, double die. Negative, no double die. 1947 Denver, 1947 Denver. Another 1946 Philadelphia, there it goes rolling away. Right on, thank you very much. Perfect. Canadian, there's my first Canadian, 1985. Yep, so far. Oh, we got another Canadian. Second Canadian. Yep, it's a uh, 1985, same same year. 1949, finally. Boy, we went a long time without finding anything. Very, very slick also. Oh, looky there, a proof. It's kind of wrecked. It's a 2004 Lewis and Clark. Kind of wrecked, but it is a proof. How about that? Canadian. 1987. Well, boys and girls, that is it. Let me clean up just a little bit, and I will take you through everything that we found today. Well, not a hugely productive box, but not bad at all. There was a 54S, which I will throw in this container. I don't have a ton of them, but there is a an error S over D, which I will check for those eventually. Just toss them there for now. Three Canadians, two of the 85s and the 1987s. So those get put away. We got that 1939, which was not a double die. We checked it. Three of the 1946s, two 1947s, and check this one out. Absolutely trashed. I probably won't even save it. It's a 1947, and it's junk. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw it in my junk pile. I got a junk pile of coins that just can't go back to the bank. So there's another 1947 there, a 1948, a 1949, and, of course, that proof. Boy, that poor thing. There's a lot of dirt on it. I might just soak it in water and then use a lint-free cloth just to wipe it off, just to get some of the dirt off of it. I bet it would look a little bit better. Well, that is it for this hunt, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye.